Hello, old chap. <laughs> hey, what the hell happened to my face? All right, so I've actually grown, oops, I've actually grown a beard. <laughs> well, <laughs> something like a beard. And because uh, I thought it would make me look more scholarly. And I'll just add the English accent. Hello. It's not working, is it? <laughs> okay. All right. This is, uh, if you've read this description, this is a f uh, an updated Foo Fighters 7-inch uh, collection video because I realized that I uh, had made a few mistakes in the last video. I won't even go there as to what the mistakes were uh, and plus uh, a few omissions. But I'm going to go ahead and burn through this. I'll see if I can make this less than 30 minutes. It really should be quick. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to do is, uh, or the first item I wanted to show you is this. This is, you know, if you're a Foo Fighters fan and you don't know about this, you need to know about it because it's a pretty damn cool item. This is uh, a box set called Neapolitan Metropolitan. All right, as you can see. And it actually contains three... Uh, three records. If you're into color vinyl, you'll love this because they're all cool, cool colors, like ice cream colors, like Neapolitan, Metropolitan. And um, uh, the one that is uh, that is key to uh, uh, Foo Fighters collectors is uh, okay. They're they're each record is representing four bands from three different cities. There's uh, one from Richmond, one from Baltimore, and one from Washington, D.C. The one that's key is the one from Washington, D.C. because there is an artist called Late. Does that ring a bell? It should because uh, Dave Grohl released a tape years ago with 10 tracks on it called Late. And, uh, well, called Pocket Watch. And the artist... His, the artist's name is Late. All right, so, and here you can see, right there is the track that is, uh, that is key uh, by the artist Late, which is Dave. I think we've already, I think we've already clarified that much, right? So anyway, um, there's all kinds of neat stuff in here and there's all kinds of <laughs> kinds of paperwork and cool stuff. But the but the record here, the white one, is the one from DC. Alright, so there you go. Look, Washington DC. Says it in there somewhere. Alright, there it is. So um the track by Late is a song called There's That Song. Uh, I believe it's uh, also known as Petrol. What the heck? I can't remember exactly what it was called. But anyway, uh, There's That Song is a, is a great track off of Pocket Watch. And... Um, You know, it's Dave Grohl. All right, so there you go. Not to get stuck on this one. I just, I'm just saying, if you're a Foo Fighters fan, and I'm, I'm guessing that if you're a Foo Fighters fan, you're a fan of Dave Grohl. Probably like Nirvana too, and all. You know, okay. So you know, but look for this. I've seen some copies out there and they were not too expensive. I have a feeling that the value of this thing is going to skyrocket soon because people, I, there's too many people who, don't, who aren't aware of this uh, Foo Fighters collectible. And, uh, and all, there's actually uh, another band in there that I like called Fudge from Richmond, Virginia. Great band, Fudge, I think. Anyway. Um, I need to play all three of these things all the way through. I've not done that yet because I don't care. You know, I like fudge and I like uh, late. 
But anyway, that's the first item. Came out a long time ago. And uh, it's it, it contains that old track, there's that song, or Petrol C, I think it's Petrol CB. I could actually tell you. Hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah, it's the second track on Pocket Watch called Petrol CB. There's that song, and it's about four, it's a little over four and a half minutes. Uh, this is my, this is my CDR that I burned. I collected all the tracks online and uh, and burned this and put all kinds of extra stuff on it. But anyway, uh, there you go. All right. So now we get to the proper Foo Fighters singles, and we'll blow through these pretty quickly. I think this is uh, this is a call and Winnebago. I have the 12-inch uh, glow-in-the-dark vinyl as well, which has an extra track. But what a, you know, what a beautiful, uh, beautiful record. And um, like I said in the in the in the um, in the last video that I shot, some of these are actually pretty inexpensive. Uh, the older ones seem to be actually pretty inexpensive. And so this is a call and this side's Winnebago. Side B is Winnebago. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful track. Or a beautiful record with the two excellent tracks. Winnebago's awesome. Winnebago's one of those B sides. All right. So. It's got a slight wrinkle in it, but I don't, I don't care. Get over it. Slight wrinkle. From 1995. Slight wrinkle. I can live with that. So, all right. So, there's a... This is a call in Winnebago. Here's the second one. I think that these are in um, chronological order of release. Uh, Foo Fighters, I'll stick around. This is the special red vinyl special edition red vinyl I, it's a special edition as if there might be a black vinyl version but i don't think that there is i think they're all red but you know if you're out there and you know better uh nothing makes me happier than if somebody enlightens me if i was wrong just tell me and blah 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 so here is here's i'll stick around the B-side, the non-album track, How I Miss You. How I Miss You. And, of course, because it's this cool red vinyl thing, I like, to, I like to show off what it kind of looks like when you shine a light through the back of it. You can see that it's got a uh, kind of texture to it, to it, you know, with a little design in there, like a marble design, marbleized red vinyl. Yes. All right, so this will take 45 minutes. <laughs> I always try, but I always seem to fail in making these uh, videos a little bit shorter. But anyway, here you go. Here it is. There it is. Huh? 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 All right. There's the back. All right. So there you go. Second single from that first album. Here's the third one. This one's a special edition blue vinyl for all the cows. And Watershed Live is a, uh, again, a non-album B-side. But it's a live track. It's not the studio. It's not a studio. It's not one of the four studio tracks. Fighters for all the cows. And 
into a fire. Beautiful marbleized blue vinyl. I love this uh, the marble vinyl because they're so cool looking. And um, especially when you shine a light. Yeah, that looks really cool. So I think so anyway. Hey, if you don't think so, the hell with you. <laughs> what the hell are you watching for? What do you care then? Right? Get lost. Who needs you? Yeah, so much for the, <laughs> so much for the scholarly uh, appearance, right? Hello, old chap. Uh, so let's put this away for all the cows. And I love the, uh, you know, how <laughs> the design of this thing is, it looks like it got all crumpled. So if there is a crumple in it, then it's, you know, you just say that's part of the design, right? It's going to be at least 45 minutes. It's going to be. It's already at 11. So, here, give me a second. Here, 46 minutes. <laughs> okay. And here is the fourth single from the first album. The self-titled Foo Fighters album. Uh, this is Big Me. It has two more tracks, Floaty and Gas Chamber. They're both BBC uh, tracks. And um, here's the back of it. There's Richard Nixon, our fine president, Richard Nixon, about to, uh, you know, roll a gutter ball, I'm sure. So, uh, it's beautiful. This is really sweet, man. I love this. Uh, first of all, I love that marbleized white vinyl. It's beautiful with the customized label with Big Me. And then it's actually an EP. You have two tracks on this side, as you can see. Two, two separate tracks. You can see it there. And of course, uh, Gas Chamber is a 39 second song on side B. <laughs> you have like six and a half, seven minutes worth of music on side A and then Gas Chamber on side B. And I think that that was just kind of a private joke that... Uh, the Foo Fighters, or David Grohl was um, putting out there because, you know, it's 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 silly. <laughs> it's just silly to do that. So, all right, all right. Uh, oh, I'm sure you want to see this. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, I like, I, <laughs> I'm a big fan of uh, color vinyl, but I'm, I'm bored with just regular red and regular blue and, and, you know, I like it when it's marbleized like, like this one, like all these were. So, let's put it away and move on to the next album. The color and the shape. Here we go. Uh, monkey wrench. Here's monkey wrench. And the color and the shape. 
sleeve is in really perfect condition. Absolutely perfect. There's no, they don't, there's no stickers. There isn't even any stickers on here. Um, and it is, it's a black, a black final record with that funky design. All right, and the title track of the album is a non-album B-side. So there you go. Another, I think another joke perpetuated on the public by Dave. Dave likes, he likes to laugh and uh, I don't blame him. I like to laugh too. So, but what a beautiful copy of this. Sorry, that was so rude. Here is uh, Everlong. All right, another colored vinyl. Uh, I love this one. This one is absolute. This is really one of my favorite Foo Fighter singles. It's got that Made in England sticker on the back. I don't care. That's fine. I don't, really don't care. Uh, but it's got. Uh, Everlong on the A side and Drive Me Wild as a B side and I think the B side's really great. That's a great tune, man. Like a, almost like a whispered vocal, but it's like high energy whispered vocal. And here you go again, another fine. clear and blue marble vinyl just beautiful and this record i remember buying this one it wasn't cheap uh yeah check out those custom labels too i mean geez oh that's i love that i love this blue vinyl but i love these custom um custom labels There you go. And this sucker is in beautiful condition. The corners of the of the actual picture sleeve, just the tips of the corners are a little bit worn down, but really, is that an issue? Because that's the only that's the only thing I see on this on this that uh, that's a a, pro a problem, right? I think most uh, Foo Fighters, uh, old Foo Fighter singles, I would think of most of them, a lot of them anyway, would be almost half destroyed because the Foo Fighters, uh, the audience for Foo Fighters, some of these guys are nuts. Like me, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little bit nuts, but uh, I'm real careful with these records, so... And here is the last one from, yeah, the last one from The Color and the Shape. This is uh, My Hero. It comes in one of these stupid, thick plastic sleeves. And this is the, that's the whole, that's the artwork. Kind of a drag. Uh, to uh, I've talked about this before. These thick plastic sleeves are they can damage a record and give it a really dull like a dullness it'll have a real dull look to it and it'll sound like it has a dull look to it there's some kind of a gas that is emitted from these thick plastic sleeves all right so i put it in here right away it's this one's in pretty good shape this one had some issues I guess some slight water damage or moisture that occurred and you know but the record itself is in great shape and I'm gonna keep it that way all right in here so anyway here you go there you go and there it is 
All right, so. Now this is the reason that I ended up having to do, you know, another video. Uh, and the one that I posted several months ago, uh, which I had to delete, you know, uh, this is the, this was the, this was the reason that I did a new one, uh, learn to fly. And this, I'll tell you, man, it, the, oh my God, it's in beautiful condition. The, uh, the picture sleeve is in beautiful shape. No wrinkles, no uh, wear, no... Uh, no real wear and tear on it. All right. This has the B-side half cigar. Oh, A-side's learn to fly, as you can see. And the B-side is have a cigar. A different version of have a cigar than the one that was released on rare rare meats or whatever it's called there's a single itself black vinyl single as you can see have a cigar great version of have a cigar man have a cigar is a fun song to play I actually have a version of it that I played with a buddy Rob uh, uh, on guitar. Just just me and Rob, guitar and drums. And I was singing it. And uh, that's on my YouTube channel if you wanna check that out. Toward the top of the, of the videos actually. But anyway, this sucker cost some money. Uh, but it's beautiful, in perfect condition. And the chump who sent me this packaged it really poorly. He almost screwed up. The guy who packed this, he packed it in a 12 inch box uh, and it was loose. The record was actually outside of the sleeve, but thankfully no damage occurred to it. The sleeve and the record are in near mint condition is what I would call it. All right, so there you go. Here's the second seven inch breakout. Stacked Actors is the B side. It's a live version of Stacked Actors. You can see there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a bend there, but nothing, nothing bad. Um, breakout and Stacked Actors. Uh, live from uh, Sydney, Australia. All right, and uh, here is that record. If you have one of these, you'll recognize it because it'll look like this. There you go. And if you don't have one of these, now you know what it looks like. So there you go. Oops. I mean, yeah, breakout and stacked actors live from Sydney. So, um, yeah, it's a longer track actually, five and a half minutes. So, okay. And there's this one, Generator. <laughs> I like this. Generator. And the B-side is Fraternity. It's a bonus track. It was on the Japanese CD as a bonus track. Was it Japanese? It might be the UK version, actually. I forget. Uh, beautiful custom label.
here's uh, the fourth one, the fourth single uh, from uh, on the third album, which uh, the title. Oh, there's nothing left to lose. Yeah, I forgot what it was called actually. Uh, next year. Uh, this has uh, next year the, the the LP version on the A side and the B side has the uh, a two meters session version which is a little longer. My audience. Beautiful freaking condition, man. That's for sure. Oh, and this came with a uh, this survey thing that you could if you're in England and you get this thing you put it in the you know you check what you like and you send it in and then they try to sell you more crap <laughs> so and here it is right and here it is again next year see you next year So there you go. Yeah, of course I'm gonna keep that little postcard, that little UK postcard, because it came with the package. That's what I do, keep everything. Oops. And here is uh From the same album, there's nothing left to lose. Uh, they did a uh, a different version of "Walking After You." I mean, it's a totally different recording. It's not just a remix. Uh, it might say it's a remix, but it's a different recording. It was on Electra Records. It was uh, for the soundtrack uh, "X Files," and there's a B-side by Ween. Ween called Beacon Light, but anyway, here is the, uh, this, this thing was pretty expensive too, actually, I was like, oh, crap, uh -uh. all right, here you go, Walking After You, and it's a great version, I mean, Walking After You is a beautiful ballad, uh, so there you go, there's the, the ween side if you give a rat's ass about that i don't really care uh it's the a side that i was really concerned about being a food fighters collector uh, although ween's cool great name ween sure hey let, let's start a band I've got a great name for it let's call the band ween I like Ween, actually, so I'm just being silly. All right, next album, uh, One by One. And this is uh, All My Life from One by One. I know that the band doesn't, not real fond of this album. I thought it was a pretty good album and had some, there's a lot of cool B-sides, Sister Europe, a lot of cover songs. Um, so, all right, this is, I believe, yeah, this was a European, um, single or a UK, possibly UK, made in the EU, all right, so, but in perfect condition, and, it, you know, that's numbered 3437, if that matters to you guys. What number did you get? <laughs> I got 34, 39. I'll trade you. <laughs> I don't get that. You know, they're collector's editions and they're numbered. <laughs> I don't get the numbering, quite frankly, and it doesn't really phase me at all, really. <laughs> That's why I'm making fun of it. But anyway, so there it's numbered, so there you go. Yeah, see here, here's all my life again. Um, uh, 
this is, I believe, a um, an American copy of uh, of this release, All My Life. And then the B-side is Danny Says. Danny Says, you gotta go. Joey Ramon, man. So, um, cool. And, um, it's cool. It's an American single with a small spindle hole. And, uh, you play it at 33. Why you play it at 33? I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking about. But I don't care. I think it's cool. It's different. Uh, it's a great song. And it's a cool, and it's a cool record. There you go. <clears throat> oh, there was some extra stuff in here. This flyer for sessions, I don't know. And this sticker, sessions, records. Uh, and of course, gotta keep all that because, you know, came with it, so I'm keeping it. Really weird how I don't know what that notch is. Like it's like something that you would might like if you got the, this package in the mail and it got notches that you pull on it to open it up. But I don't get it. What that's for? What it means? What it's what it's there for? I don't know what that is. I wonder if I pulled that off if if the police would show up at my apartment. You just broke the law. Uh, you're coming with us. All right, so there you go. So here is uh, another numbered, <laughs> limited edition numbered uh, 45. This is Low with uh, Never Talking to You Again, a live version of a, I believe that's another cover version. And this is number 525. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful condition beautiful condition the sleeve is in perfect shape and the record these custom labels you know this is a, a, a British or a European import Oops. There it is. What number did you? What number is yours? <laughs> I got five twenty five. Okay. I got do. You got two? Yeah, I got two. Here, hold on. I'm trying to blow through it as quickly as I can. Here is from one by one, have it all. And uh, the B side is uh, Disenchanted Lullaby. No, that's another cover. I forget who the who they're covering, but uh, but anyway, beautiful condition. This single, the cover is beautiful. The forty-five uh, more custom labels, right? See, Took less than a minute to show you that. But there's no number. What will I do? <laughs> All right, this is one. <laughs> I got one. I'm going to put a one on here and ruin it. Okay. Have it all. Cool. 
this one I'm a little bit mangled but uh oh it's numbered oh goody <laughs> times like these but the corner is so as you can see you know, a little nice wrinkle in there but you know I was like ah crap but uh I, then I was like the other four are beautiful this is the fifth single but that's because in uh there were two different uh singles for the first song so and this has times like these and the b-side is life of illusion cool so uh, joe walsh a joe walsh cover what a great idea so times like these and life of illusion yeah, Joe Walsh is great, man. He's cool. And I got <laughs> one zig zig nine. <laughs> what number was yours? What did you get? All right, next uh, album. Um, and this is from In Your Honor. Uh, this is, I believe this is an American single uh, with uh, a B-side FFL, a non-album B-side FFL. And, uh, and uh, this was really inexpensive. I think that I was able to, I, I think Best Buy, when they were selling records still or CDs, I don't think they even sell CDs anymore, but anyway... Now they sell records, so we're, we're back to records again, of course. You know, we went full circle. But anyway, uh, I believe Best I believe I got this from Best Buy. And I like the design of the records from this album because I like how there uh, is like a reverse image on the flip side of the, uh, like the label, the two labels. So there's side A and there's side B. It's a, you got uh, olive green on black for the B side. It's black on olive green here and then blah, blah, blah. So, all right, so you know, I could go on and on about it forever, you know. Blah, blah, you know me. Diarrhea of the mouth. But uh, yeah, I thought this was really cool. And I like it. Freaking prolific, these guys. A double, a two CD set that they released, and then they still have a whole, whole bunch of B sides. I wonder if some of those tracks were leftovers or carried over from the previous sessions that they, you know, from uh, one by one, and they didn't, they, they weren't happy with what they were recording. I wonder if some of those were just, just wondering out loud. All right, here is Best of You. With the B-side spill. Hey, there's no number. <laughs> so you get these cool custom labels, Best of You and Spill. And I believe that Spill was not released on a CD single. I think it was only on uh, this is vinyl 45 if I am correct. If I remember correctly and I've got who knows because it came out 20, 20 years ago. I should have reviewed <laughs> I should have reviewed the history. <laughs> yeah I do a lot of prep. 2005, yeah, almost 20 years ago. So, best of you and best of you. This, I think, was a, uh, yeah, a European or a British, uh, yeah, made in the EU. That first one I showed you was an American release. 
Here is uh, Resolve Perfect Beautiful condition Of course As are most of the shit that I buy uh, This is a, uh, Again this is a European release Resolve and the B side Is a uh, side is uh, a world it's a demo so here's uh, again this cool custom labels blue on black and black on blue with white font beautiful <clears throat> European release. Uh, here's a DOA with razor on the back on the B side. I have two copies of this because oh razor acoustic version of razor. An import or oh yeah made in the EU yeah this is a British import DOA and uh, acoustic razor and uh, you got the canary in the cage and they were so cool because they made it a uh, canary colored record and a beautiful um, custom labels and I, I just was like wow I love it <laughs> I bought I ended up buying two look at it the black dots making a triangle on it it's like it's like a mysterious message other one see I told you I got two too bad they're not numbered <laughs> I have one and two <laughs> oh boy how come nobody else is laughing <laughs> like laughing at me okay all right fine smelly red bastards here is a uh, long row oh, next album um, Uh, Long Road to Ruin and Holiday in Cambodia, another cover. We started doing a lot of covers, and uh, that's cool. That's B-sides. Long Road to Ruin and uh, Holiday in Cambodia. And I think it was, uh, was it Fred from the B-52s? I think Fred Schneider's on the, uh, actually singing on the B-side, if I remember correctly. Long Road to Ruin. Oh no, it's not Fred Schneider. Maybe it is, but it says Sir Serge T 
Tang Kuhi? Tanky? Oh, never mind. All right, I don't, I don't know what we're talking about here. So here is the single. Right. Remember, I'm just, the whole point of the video is I'm just showing you what I got. A long road to ruin. And holiday in Cambodia. some things I need to do with these some of these sleeves uh, maybe need to shuffle some sleeves around here is uh, the pretender and uh, the b-side is banging I do recall that banging was a vinyl only b-side get it on this 45 here and this happens to be a, a clear vinyl single like banging Coo banging man banging man banging Here's this thing, <laughs> two-headed dog. This is a, a like a flexi disc. Foo Fighters flexi flex 606-1. Uh, there's a song called Two-Headed Dog, and they didn't release it on a regular record. They put it on this piece of cardboard, like this. You cut it out of a cereal box, so. Definitely not my favorite Foo Fighters recording, but I, I, I'm always fascinated by stuff like this that's not even on a regular record. It's on a thing, like a piece of cardboard. And uh, I have to boost the weight of the stylus a little bit to, for this to play properly. Uh, I actually ordered another one. I, I, even though I didn't like the song that much, I actually ordered another one which was much cheaper and I'm hoping it's slightly better quality. And then maybe I'll sell one of, the, one of these. And I'll let somebody do If I sell it, don't worry, I'll say. I, I have problems playing it, so. All right, and here is the last seven inch that I have. Uh, making a fire. Uh... And uh, Chasing Birds. This is a uh, record store day thing, and you can see the, there's tons of these all over the place, and it's amazing. The, 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 the price people are charging, oh, what is The price people are charging for it is, it varies from like 14, 15 bucks to like $65. It's, it's ridiculous. This is like a Zydeco kind of tunes. Dave singing, and it's Dave singing on these songs, on these tracks, and um, <clears throat> make a fire. And there's other people playing on it. If you record these down in uh, Louisiana, is that what happened here? I don't know. But anyway, uh, There you go. And then one more thing. And I figured I would just uh, songs from the laundry room. This was a 10 inch record that came out and I figured I would show it on this video because it's so cool. <laughs> record store day. 
right? It's supposed to look like, <laughs> it's, supposed to look, it's supposed to be like this, but you know. And uh, you get this big, <laughs> big cassette. It won't fit in my player. <laughs> So it's a, a huge photograph of a cassette and here's the inner sleeve. All right, but uh, I put the record itself in a line sleeve because I want to protect the record itself and you know it's kind of cool and you get you get four songs you get uh, Alone and Easy Target and Big Me songs from the laundry room Alone and Easy Target and Big Me and then the B side is uh, Kids in America and Empty Hands Ep Empty Handed Sorry. Okay, so. Just, you know, maybe somebody wasn't aware of this release. Now you are. It was a Record Store Day release from, I forget when. And, but they're, you know, they're out there and if you want one, just buy one. All right, so. That's the whole thing, man. That's that's it. That's this is my uh I think this is my definitive uh video for my uh for my uh Foo Fighters uh 7 inch and 10 inch collection. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's only 52 freaking minutes going on 53. Everybody have a great time, blah, 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 blah.